crankshaft. What is that? Oh, it's just a piece of wood. <laughs> Getting excited about a piece of wood. Yep. <laughs> that also sounded incredibly inappropriate. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need to think about the words that come out of my mouth before I say them. Oh dear. Alright, let's go in here. So we found the rock. Yeah, we found that. Oh, fix it. Okay, rock. Okay, so I need to like put things back the way they were. That's weird. Alright, is there anything in here that I need to be concerned about? Well, yeah, let's go into the spooky woods. That seems like a good idea. I don't like the spooky woods. God damn it, games. Why you always make me go in the spooky woods? Ugh. Ugh, it's spooky. I don't like it. Where the heck am I going? Why is the music getting spooky? Stop that. Damn it. What's with all the creakity creaking? Oh my gosh, how far can I go into the woods? Damn. I don't know if I should be doing this yet. off that way. I don't know if I want to go off into the spooky woods. Let's go and put the crankshaft back because then we can actually move the train back where it's supposed to be. Because apparently I'm like resetting everything. I don't know why I would do that. I mean a crime was committed. I should be leaving everything the way it was. But hey maybe I think I'm above the law. I don't know. Yeah, okay, I know the rail car. Very important. Alright. Is there any way to sprint? Oh, shift to sprint. Hooray! Oh my gosh, that makes my life so much easier. Alright. Let's get this crankshaft put back in place. Spinny, spinny, Enter. Right. And we want to go backwards. Ah, oh, we're gonna run over the severed legs. Okay, at least it does stop if I like. How do I know where to stop it though? Oh, I can turn around while I'm doing this. Is this the right spot? I don't know. Let's exit and find out. So, maybe a little bit further. Give it one more tap. Oh, that's forward. Is that the right spot? a bit further, like one more tap, and then we'll turn it off. Okay. Yeah, because you can't see rail car anymore, so I guess that's the right spot. Okay. 
Okay. All right, let's go see if the body can tell us something. Yeah, here we go. All right. Uh, hello, spooky ghost lights. He's holding his head, so I guess maybe someone hit him in the head. So he is. Why is Ethan tied to the railroad tracks? So Ethan was tied to the railroad tracks. Then this guy got smacked in the head somehow. Arguing about the train. Who picked up the rock? Grandfather picked up the rock. Do you do that to save Ethan Carter? Technology. guess that the first thing that happened was Ethan got tied to the tracks. Technology. Okay. Like, what am I supposed to do here? I need to get chronology on all of them. bits I needed to get. I thought there was only five. Any more sparkly sparkles? Down here, like can get rid of the crankshaft. Oh. Is this Can't see anything across the water anymore. supposed to do here? Like, okay, chronology, you want me to put it in order? How do I do that? A little more instruction wouldn't go for- oh, tag! Okay, now you're saying tag. What? Okay. So I think the first thing that happened was this. Because, I mean, maybe that was- maybe the grandfather was in on it? But then, what happened to him here? Why did he get his head smacked?
he have the rock there? He does, okay. Why can't I tag this? There we go, tag. Two. And then he walked up to him. Three. Smacked him in the head and got him up here somehow. Okay, tag only shows up in very specific. And then came to finish the job. Poor Ethan is there. And then actually finished the job. Space visualize. Listen to me. We can destroy it. I know how. Can't destroy Ethan. You can't destroy time. That's what he is. He is forever. Yeah. I wish there was another way. Travis, tell me where Ethan is. Now. Giving the sleeper what he wants, what all of us want. Look, old man, you need to go home. <laughs> Chronology, right? Okay. Whoa. So many questions. Who's the sleeper? What's he got to do with time? Why is Travis trying to make him happy? Oh, what is that? Okay, do I need to follow you? Or is that just like Travis's spirit? Oh, no, you're falling. You're going down. All right. Yeah, who's the sleeper? Why does he want Ethan? What's going on here? Grandpa? Stay away! Ethan, I'm sick too. I can feel the sleeper in my head. Then fight it! I have to destroy the room! Chris, I'm sorry. Ethan. Oh no! I can't let you do that. What the? Okay. Whatever it turned out. Family against him. The grandfather was trying to resist. Age helps against those things that feed on hate. Not because of wisdom or experience, because the old are tired. Their hate is less useful. Okay. Huh. All right. Like I said, lots of questions. Who's the sleeper? What's the room? Why does Ethan want to destroy the room? Why did Travis want to stop him? Why did why did he want to give Ethan to the sleeper? What do you think that was going to accomplish? Hmm. What's possessed Ethan's family? Let's go into the spooky woods and see if there's anything I need to check out. Gosh, please let me run into a wall or something. There's so much. Pretty sure I can go up here, yeah. Pretty view. It's much nicer out here than it is back there in the spooky woods. Uh, I don't think there's anything here though. I need to stop sprinting. I'm giving myself a headache. Um, I 
guessing I can't get down. No. But man, that view though. So pretty. Like, look at that. This game is un like unbelievably pretty. I definitely have wandered up into the woods for no reason. Just, I'm scared I'm gonna miss something. Right, um, it's just like rocks and stuff, right? There's a little hole there, but I can't interact with it. Okay. Nope. All right, down we go. this side because I since, since I haven't been here yet. Why am I following an astronaut? Is this Doctor Who all of a sudden? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh. Are you back where I was? Not in the mood for tag. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you are. Stop getting so far ahead of me. Whoa! What the? What? 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 Why am I in a spaceship? the shark so hard. Uh, okay. Oops. Okay. What the? What the? Okay. Oh. Uh, hi. Fangs. The beast had fangs, but was heavy and slow, so when it saw the light in the sky, it waited, thinking the light would go out like the others before it. When it did not, the beast stood, rose up on its legs, and went to the place where the fire was still burning. The orange light died, another took its place. This one was blue, a bright and pure blue that the creature had only seen along the edges of the stars. The beast showed its fangs, and the light vanished. A moment later, the light appeared again between two distant trees. The beast wanted to go home, but could, could not ignore the light, so it chased it deeper into the forest. When the light stopped, it did so in a clearing of trees. The beast entered the circle, feeling no fear. The trees turned toward the beast, pointing at it like needles, but the tops of the trees lowered and dug into the ground. The trunks and roots were raised in the air and closed around the beast like walls. As the ground disappeared, the beast realized it would never use its fangs again. Okay. Am I trapped Get out of my room, Travis! Stories, stories, always with the stories. Get out! 
I read the Fangs one. I liked uh, the Beast. At least he gets to leave this goddamn place. <laughs> Now I'm back. Okay. Abstruse Tales. Yellow Hills of Mars by Douglas Spaulding. Gaylord. America's Funny Science Fiction. Okay, so, like, am I accessing Ethan's dreams? Somehow? No, it's just things again. And he pretended this was the spaceship? What the hell? Okay. Interesting. Alright, I don't know. I don't think I missed anything. Didn't expect to run into an astronaut, but hey, life's weird sometimes, I guess. Is that light still there, or is it gone now? It's gone. Okay, I guess that's what that whole section is for, is just chasing the astronaut not around. So let's go down next to the railroad tracks, because, yeah, there's stuff to check out here. Okay, I'm not interested in that. Nope, oh, okay. I guess we are not interested in this particular railroad car, okay. Um, logs. It's a tree house. Okay. The road stop. That was Ethan's treehouse. Well, treehouse man. Trains have been through here for a long time. That was part of a pattern. Large pieces of this country were thrown away, doomed to become, and then remain, the worst versions of themselves. Beneath all that rot, dark things grow. Mm.
into the woods, but I'm scared of missing things. No, well, uh, nothing. All right. Following railroad tracks, or do I go to town? I guess I'll keep going this way for now. I mean, they gotta end, right? Okay, I guess that's the town. So this must lead down into the actual town, I guess. So many little places to explore. I'm just scared I'm gonna miss something. I don't know the whole story. I don't know this ends, okay. Alright, I can't get past that. Okay, I guess I have to go into town. Interesting. I don't know when this auto saves. This is gonna be an issue. I'm assuming it's saved at some point, maybe after I did the whole Travis story, or after I did the astronaut. I don't know. I don't know how to tell when it all this is. Oh, the tree is really pretty. Yeah, what a gorgeous little town. Too bad. I've seen every version of people hurting each other, hurting themselves. And they blame it on compulsion, selfishness. Madness. I suppose the idea is, if you name a thing, you can control it. There are things in this world that cannot be named. So pretty. Oh my gosh, look at the mountains. Beautiful. It's like freaking Rivendell up in here. down there. Sorry, I'm checking to see if there's anything I need to interact with. Oh my gosh, so many buildings for me to explore. <laughs> I'm guessing I can't get into half of them, which would be good. Okay, this place looks pretty deserted. Alright, uh, I just realized I've been recording this for almost an hour, um, and I can't really tell when it autosaves, so I'm gonna throw caution to the wind and end this part here. If it does turn out that it autosaved earlier, I'll just replay the parts I've done so far to get to this part the next time I record. Uh, I don't think that'll be an issue. I can remember everything I did. Uh, I'm also probably going to split this part into two parts. So the end of the first part is going to be a little wonky because I'll just cut it off at some point. But in any event, I am loving this game. Clearly I went a whole hour without realizing it and I'm usually pretty good about keeping track of my time. So uh, I'm really liking it so far. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Are you enjoying it? Do you like it? It's certainly beautiful and the story is very intriguing. So yeah, uh, if you guys did like th these videos and are interested in the series, please press the like and subscribe buttons. I really do appreciate all of your support and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day.